today's video, I'm gonna be doing another tips and tricks video inside to my battleground. So you guys really found the last one helpful and been asking for a part two ever since. So in today's video, I put together some more tips and more tricks to help you get better at sites in my battleground. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into tip number one. All right, so tip number one is mini uppercutting and down kicking. So surprisingly, not a lot of people know about this tip. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys how to mini uppercut and how to down kick. And obviously these like moves are used for combo extending and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and show you guys what mini uppercutting is first. So mini uppercutting is pretty much just this. So you wanna like have an M1 combo and then as you guys could see, like they get like a little uppercut and I could extend my combo from there. Let me go ahead and show you guys the down kick, all right? So down kick is pretty much similar as well. It's just this and then you just drop down and kick like that. And obviously this is used to combo extend and stuff like that as well. Um, So yeah, let me go ahead and explain to you guys how to actually do these because it's some people don't know how to do it. It's really important, man. It's actually very important. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Starting off with the mini uppercut. So pretty much for the mini uppercut, this goes for both PC and mobile. You just want to go ahead and start your M1 combo normally and just left click left click and then hold space like if you hold split hold space or hold jump while you're doing this it just does it automatically the mini uppercut is a lot more simple than the kick down so let me go ahead and do that one more time you just want to go ahead and start punching and hold space or hold jump if you're on mobile all right look so that's how you basically do it. Let's go ahead and get into the down kick now. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys how to do the down kick properly. So pretty much you want to start off by doing two normal punches. One, two. And then from here, you just hold space. Literally, it's the same concept as before, but you start holding space around after two punches. So let me go ahead and show you guys that one more time. It's one, two, and then you hold space. And there you go. It does a little down kick. Let me just go ahead and do it one more time. If you guys don't really understand. So one, two. And then you literally just hold... Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I did the wrong one. So it's pretty simple. That's the uppercut. I also showed you guys the down kick as well. That is how you do the mini uppercut and the down kick. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a ranked match and show you guys how important this is when you actually play ranked. But let me go ahead and hop into a ranked and show you guys for yourself. All right, boys. So here we are in a ranked 1v1 match and we're fighting EDP445, bro. Hold on, bro. My boy, you're going crazy already. All right, but let me go ahead and show you guys the combo. So look. Okay, he got out of that, but you basically want to use your uppercut. Look at this, look at this. I uppercut and I combo extend like this. Like, that's why I say it's very important to know how to uppercut and stuff like that, because that's how you combo extend in this game, bro. And here's another one. Look at that, bro. Look how look how easy that makes life, bro. Look how easy that makes everything. All right, EDP is going crazy. Yo, EDP, chill, bro. All right, now it's my turn, EDP. All right, you had your fun. Now it's time for my for me to have my fun, all right? And there we go. We just beat EDP 445. And yeah, I pretty much just used a lot of uppercuts that match instead of down kicks. But honestly, you could use whatever works for you. I personally just prefer uppercuts because like I just like combo extending with them. But with that being said, we could go ahead and move on to tip number two. All right, so tip number two is timing your ultimate. So what I mean by this is you make sure making sure that you use your ultimate at the correct time. A lot of the time when I see people play this game, as soon as they they see their ultimate bar go up, they use it right away. Like I want you guys to go ahead and time your ultimate at a time where obviously obviously your low health because your ultimate obviously gives your health back right it gets you back to 100 hp and also like does like pretty much a lot of damage like if you're using garo and you use your ultimate mode you know how when you use it, it down smashes so let me go ahead and show you guys some examples because uh, most of the time i see people do this like let's say this is a fighter and i literally just get my ultimate bar i use it right away I, I i'm not even low health and i see people use this so that's what i mean by timing it and obviously you could use this in a lot of different situations as well so let me go ahead and get you guys an example of what i mean by that all right so let me go ahead and show you guys an example now all right so let's say this person over here uses their ultimate i want to use mine as well look so they waste theirs and i use mine and he can't move right now he's, he's stunned and basically from here i literally just go ahead and combo extend and it's that simple bro bop look at that look at that bro Look how simple that is. And now I just finish him off. Easy. So that's what I basically mean by timing your ultimate. You want to go ahead and use your ultimate at a time that is like a good timing. You don't want to waste it. Like, let's say you're full health. You obviously don't want to use your ultimate when you're full health. I would say use your ultimate when you're like below half HP. Like, that's the time it makes most sense. And um, honestly, that's pretty much it, man. It's it's a, it's kind of like a simple, like, it's self-explanatory tip. You want to time your ultimate. You want to make sure you use your ultimate at the correct time. If you don't use it at the correct time, you're just pretty much going to waste it, man. So that's a very important tip I have for you guys. I see a lot of people wasting their ultimates and using it at the wrong time. So make sure you guys time your ultimates correctly. And this goes for, with every ultimate, not just Garo. Like, it also goes with Saitama as well. Because um a lot of times when you're using Saitama, let's say, for example, as soon as you see somebody using Saitama, they pop their ult, right? Like, a lot of people assume that they put, like, the death counter right away. And a lot of time they don't. And it just kind of just, like, bamboozles people, man. Um, But yeah, man, that's pretty much how this works. Time your ultimate. I also have another example for you guys of me doing it in a rank 1v1 which i'll be playing right now
Also, the next tip I have for you guys is understanding how to block break and dash, right? So a lot of times when you see people in situations where their opponent is just constantly blocking, they don't really know what to do. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what to do in situations when you see your opponent spam blocking. And I'm going to make sure you guys understand how to dash correctly. So for example, for this guy right here, you see how he's just holding his block. And if I were to like queue at him, like he would just like like block my Q and just start m wanting me and getting me in a combo right but you basically what i really like to do is i like side dashing so instead of like dashing normally where they could like block your hit i side dash and i start the combo afterwards from behind them so that's pretty much what i personally like to do a lot because if they're blocking and you start hitting them from the behind like behind them <laughs> um it, it does it, it's it's really good because it breaks their blocks so let me go ahead and show you guys that one more time if i were if i were just to do this normally as you guys can see, it does nothing. And they literally just could start, stop blocking and start hitting me. So what I like to do personally is I like to side dash behind them and then start comboing just like this. It's a lot easier and it's just a lot better, bro. If, you, if you're doing this in, in ranked, it's just super helpful and it's just a really good tip. So um, you could also queue behind them. Instead of queuing in front of them, you could just kind of do this, but that's harder to land sometimes, I feel like. So that's why I just suggest you guys to just side dash. Like don't dash at them, like side dash and then start your combo, bro. That's pretty much how you do it. And it's actually a really, really good tip. It helped me, bro. I'm, I'm like in ranked, I'm like ranked 100 and like something. And this is what helped me get there, bro. So if you guys are wondering how to do this, this this is the best tip I have for you guys and is uh, pretty simple, bro. Let me go ahead and show, show you guys again. So you could use it like that where you queue behind them, but sometimes that's risky because like they could literally just block that and just start m wanting you. Um, so that's why I suggest you guys to, you know, side dash. Side dash is so important, dude. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much how you do it. And um, now we're going to go ahead and hop into a public and put these tips to use. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how helpful these tips actually are. <laughs> All right. So yeah, to pretty much sum everything up, like I said, we got the mini uppercuts and the down kicks for combo extending and then we got the timing your ultimate and then last but not least we got the dashing and block breaking so let me go ahead and just like put all that to use and just kind of show you guys how this looks like all right uppercut to combo extent oh i messed up but we hey we still continue the combo all right and then we side dash all right so this guy right here let me go ahead and show you guys all right so we use this and then we combo extend with this and there we go all right so as you guys saw the uppercut literally helped me get him into that combo and honestly man like i said this all takes practice the more you do it the better you get at it and um yeah if you guys did help find this video helpful in any way shape or form make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe like and hit that notification bell also if there's anything i missed in this video that you guys want me to address in another video just let me know in the comment section down below and um yeah man i'll go ahead and see you guys all in the next video